Hi there, I'm Tyler Ballhorn. Welcome to the Stock Scores Market Analysis for April 12th, 2010. Let's get right into the charts as we always do, starting off with a chart of the exchange traded fund for the Dow 30. This is symbol DIA. We have a nice long term upward trend, but the short term upward trend had been broken a few days ago. You can see it just barely there. If you were to look at the 60 minute intraday chart of the Dow on that particular day, and it had broken, although the other indexes, for example, the NASDAQ and the S&P remained intact. And so I was a little bit concerned that this market might roll over, but it hasn't done that. Instead, it has powered higher to new highs, and therefore the buyers remain in control, and I remain bullish on this market. Next chart is the chart of the Canadian dollar, and you can see that the Canadian dollar is moving toward new highs. We're in a little bit of a flag pattern with some selling pressure over the last four days, but uh, the Canadian dollar looks to be one of the top performing currencies in the world right now. With weakness in the US dollar, gold has managed to break out of its little pennant pattern that had been forming. You can see here a line of resistance, a line of support forming a pennant. We broke out of that. And so I think gold could move up to old resistance right in there on at 120 on the ETF. This is symbol GLD. And where I had been neutral on gold before, I'm now getting a little bit more optimistic on the gold chart. Although today's market action may be an indication that a pullback is likely in the near term. Next chart is oil. And oil has also benefited from weakness in the US dollar. And it broke out of the pattern that it had been in, pulling back over the last few days, very short-term pullback, I would watch for a break of this flag pattern to the upside as an indication that oil is likely to move higher. I do think it is likely that oil will be higher in the months to come. It's just a question of how long this pullback lasts. Here's a chart of the NASDAQ 100. And again, like its uh, sister index, the Dow 30, the NASDAQ 100 is moving to new highs, looks very strong. Buyers remain in control and I remain bullish on this market. S&P 500, same story. Buyers in control, no sign of weakness yet. You need to remain long stocks in general. This is a chart of the TSX 60, which benefits from strength in things like gold and oil. It is pushing up against its highs. It hasn't made that breakout yet. But if we do manage to break through resistance at $18 on the exchange traded fund T.XIU, I do think that this market's going to go on a run. With strength building in the oil market, I think that a breakout in the TSX is likely in the near term. And finally, here we have that US dollar index. It had been looking pretty strong for some time, the upward trend line is right there, but you can see that we're just starting to tickle below that from a falling top. I think what's happening is as concerns over in Europe, particularly with Greece, are solved, people aren't rushing into the US dollar for safety, and that is hurting the strength of the US dollar. So we could see the US dollar get even weaker here, although because it's right at that upward trend line, you never know, it might bounce back, but we're at a critical point for the US dollar. Well, that has been the Stock Scores Market Minutes for April 12th, 2010. For more information on the tools and services offered by Stock Scores, give us a visit at www.stockscores.com. Have a great week in the market and trade well.